on the list, I'm looking for an available calcium source. Ooh, so gonna... <laughs> calcium source. Here we go. Here we go. So when you hear that, that is a that perks my interest immediately. Like, what is he going to talk about? Because if he's going to talk about calcium deficiencies, okay, I know. Okay, we're still on the the, the evidence train. But then, then I want to know what's his limit going to be. You know, right? But he's not going to talk about calcium deficiency. <laughs> he's going to talk about something even better. I'm be looking for gypsum or some sort of a calcium sulfate because my pH is high. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's great. He's looking for gypsum because his pH is high. Let's look at that's definitely on here. Where is that? Oh, here it is right here. Gypsum will lower pH because of the sulfate. And I've said this before. I am a okay with everybody in the turf industry or elsewhere who does not recognize that. You don't realize that calcium sulfate, the sulfate in calcium sulfate has no effect on pH. That's not what you do. I get that. You know, you know, I'm not, I don't know anything else about whatever, whatever you do, accounting and lawyer. I don't know anything about that stuff. I mean, you know, you don't know that. I get it. But you're not on YouTube talking about it and convincing people to go do it. And when you, if you get on YouTube and start convincing people to go buy gypsum to lower your soul pH, then I'll be on YouTube <laughs> calling you out <laughs> just the way it is. Let me explain. I've said this. I don't know how many times I've explained this. I don't know how, dip, how many different ways I, I need to explain it in order for it to sink into people. Calcium sulfate is a neutral salt. What does that mean? That means it does not affect the pH up or down as the salt. Now, when very high pH is above 8.5 that are there because they're sodic, in that case, gypsum can actually reduce pH because the pH is being held that high as a result of the sodium and the calcium sulfate, the manner in which it dissolves in the soil solution allows the calcium to be soluble and kick off the sodium and there's all reactions that go up and, and down that road. But the calcium sulfate salt itself is neutral. And the reason why it doesn't is because the sulfate is sulfate. It's already been oxidized. It has four oxygens on it already. In order for sulfur to lower the pH, the elemental sulfur, just the letter S, just elemental sulfur will become, will oxidize and result in the liberation of hydrogen from water and the oxygen from that water will be attached to the sulfur. So the sulfur is oxidized and then that process liberates hydrogen and reduces the, the pH from elemental sulfur. But when you apply sulfate, it's already gone through that process. So there is no effect on hydrogen ions in the soil or hydroxyl ions in the soil as a result of the sulfate. I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I mean, it's insane. And I need that to come down temporarily. Uh, it's also going to help with the dog urine spots now that I have. <laughs> I'm not going to make it through this. I'm going to have to go get a tissue. Oh, man. So the gypsum is going to help with dog urine spots. I don't, I don't think I have that on there, do I? So, so the gypsum is going to help with dog urine spots. There's a whole episode on that. It's not going to do diddly <laughs> to dog urine spots. It's the lactic acid in dog urine that actually kills the grass. All you got to do is just put a little, bit, a little bit of water. That's all you got to do. Just sprinkle a little bit of water, not a fire hose of water on there. I mean, when I say a little bit, I mean, whatever the volume of urine was, let's say it was 10 milliliters, it's 10 to one. So if it's 10 milliliters of urine, you just got to put a hundred milliliters of water on there, which is just the hose on for like one second, two seconds, maybe. That's all you got to do. And as, as soon as the dog urinates on your lawn, you don't have to put anything in it. There's nothing in it that's going to help make it better. There's nothing you can put on the grass before the dog urinates. As of yet, there's nothing to indicate that anything is going to help other than just putting water on.